Hola, my name is Joey Figueroa, a hairstylist and makeup artist here in Kansas City, and we are on episode number three of Signature Style. And speaking of Spanish, I wanted to bring you to one of my favorite Mexican spots here in Kansas, over in Shawnee, called Zambreros. They're really good personal friends of mine, and I absolutely love their street tacos. I love to mix and match them. I get them all the time. But what I love to get there is their margaritas. So my friend Brandon is gonna be mixing up something really, really fun for us. They have their own signature margaritas. They can't give us the full recipe, but they're super low calorie. They're not too sweet, not too sour. They give you perfect buzz. And I can't wait to see you guys back in the studio to mix up something really, really fun for you guys. So let's get this fiesta started. Welcome to Signature Style. What's up guys, my name is Brandon. I work out at Sombrero's Mexican Cantina out in Shawnee. Uh, today we're going to be making one of our specialties. Uh, it's called Miracle on Ice. It's basically your simple Patron margarita. You're going to get your tin shaker. You're going to throw a little ice in it to get it nice and chill. Go ahead and get your glass salted for your margarita. Throw some ice in that. Now, the amount you put in it's going to be up to you. Uh, I like to do three equal parts. Uh, you can choose how heavy you want those parts to be. For this evening, we're going to be, it's been a long night, we're going to do a full shot of each. Patron Silver Tequila, Patron Centrage Tequila, and whatever sweet and sour mix you want to use. This is our house sweet and sour mix. We make it here. This is the only place you're going to get this sweet and sour. So, if you want to try this bad boy, you need to come out to Sombrero's Mexican Cantina in Shawnee, and I can make one of these up for you. It's a real nice elite margarita. There we go. Throw a little lime on there and you got yourself a very nice margarita. Thanks guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio and we will be creating a really, really fun beach inspired look. Um, not your typical beach waves, but we'll be adding a little bit of a braid in there too to give it a little bit of texture. This is my very favorite client, Meg here, and she'll be um, helping us with our hair. We actually really colored it um, today with a little bit of red in there, so it'll really give a little bit of dimension in those, uh, in those curls. Um, what we'll be doing and using today is um, Aquage's Sea Salt Spray. I really like the Sea Salt Spray. I have this in my, one of my top five sea salts. Um, most of them are really drying or uh, they kind of flake if you spray too much, but this is a perfect combination. What we're gonna do is um, you can also spray it in before you blow dry to give you a little bit of grit. We've already done that. We're gonna lightly mist the sea salt on dry hair. Do not make it damp because you don't wanna make it sizzle when it's on that iron. I like to use a rod iron. This is, for this look, I'll be using more of a tapered iron. It goes from like a three quarters of an inch all the way to about a quarter of an inch. Uh, and this is actually a Bellamy one, this is a six in one, um, but you can kind of find different ones that work for you. What you're gonna use is a small section and you're just gonna wrap around and leave the ends out. And you wanna take about kind of like a horizontal, not quite vertical section, leave it on for a couple seconds and take out. And I like to kind of stretch that out a little bit to loosen it up. And what's really cool with her color is you're gonna see that multi-dimension that we put in her hair with that red. And we're gonna be doing it the opposite way, twirling around, letting it stay for about five to eight seconds, keeping those ends out. Do not burn yourself. That's why they have gloves and everything with that. Take out, tug a little bit to loosen it, and continue the rest. Now what we'll be doing is sectioning up right above the ear here, taking it around, letting it drape down and just clip out of the way. So with this front section, we're gonna be taking the iron underneath on that diagonal, twisting around, going, tapering it all the way, keeping your hands out of the way, 
leaving it on for about five to eight seconds and taking it out. And I like to just give that little tug just to loosen up that wave and just continue all the way around. Getting this back section yourself is kind of hard. Um, I have the perfect angle because I'm standing behind her and doing that. We can actually take our heads off and put it in front of us and work, but that would be amazing, right? But since we can't, we will be tip turning her head this way, draping it over her shoulder, and that way it's actually easier for her to get her hands behind there and getting that angle. We're gonna let that go and create that style, and we'll continue on. And make sure to remember while you're curling, the smaller the section, the tighter the curl is going to be. The larger the section, the looser the curl is going to be. Now what we're going to be doing is sectioning the top. We'll do that mohawk section that I absolutely love because it's been cascading over everything. That's temples to temples all the way back to this crown area. Make sure to clip that out of the way. And a lot of people ask me what kind of clips I use. I love different clips. They're called crocodile clips, shark clips. These are color track clips. Um, they just kind of give you a little bit more of a grip to it. <laughs> and with Meg's hair, it's super thick. So it really does take it all out of the way so you can start working on different sections. With this front section, we're gonna be framing the face going away from the face here. Tapering it all the way down. And then once you have these curls in, I mean, they're gonna last a long time. Um, because of the preparation that you did in me before and all the stuff that we're gonna spray in um, afterwards. And it depends on how long you, you know, shampoo your hair. If you uh, do a couple days, like one or two days, uh, make goes about, what, four to five? Great. Uh, so you can really keep these and, you know, do different looks that, uh, so you don't have to waste your, waste your curls for the day. As we take down this section, I'm gonna be intertwining my curls. So going forward, then backwards. Beach curls are never the same. So that's why I love this look. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can go one way, the other, and it, you don't have to remember, oh crap, I just, you know, did it frontward and I have to do it backwards. It doesn't really matter. You just want them to go in different directions. Now that we have these beautiful curls that are just tousled and ready to go, we'll be creating a braid that actually kind of just tucks underneath just to give a little bit of umph, a little bit of more texture. Um, and if anybody knows me as a hairstylist, I am probably the worst braider. I can't do those fancy braids, but I can do simple. And what I'm gonna do is that simple three strand braid, we're gonna take it right above the, bra the bangs and we're gonna take our three sections and just twirl and just braid that. Once we have that braid, we can actually break that up, take your fingers, and kind of stretch out those strands. Now we have this braid, we're gonna be taking this section right underneath, and we're gonna just lightly place that right there, and take our bobby pin, and just secure it underneath. Now that we're done with the braid and keeping this texture really fun, we'll be using a spray wax. This is actually spray clay by Sexy Hair. This is the style Sexy Hair. Uh, and it's pretty potent, and it's, so you wanna make sure you spray it from far away. You just wanna spray that texture in and just kinda rough up those edges. As I said, I don't like it to be perfect, so just kinda take a handful there and just create that texture. It smells really good, but it's also potent too. And I like to take a little bit of that hair and just kind of scrunch it up, give it a little bit of texture to that. Break up those curls a little bit and create a little bit of that texture. And there you go. You can shake it up and there's your fun beach look with beach curls and a little bit of texture with the braid.